So, if you're anything like me, you probably spend a lot of time indulging on whatever content you can read, listen to, watch, in regards to anything guitar, amp, pedals, whatever. So, for those of you who don't feel like listening to me talk for the next couple of minutes, the comparison between the two cabinets will start here. Or here. Let's put it right here. The, the only entertainment I take in daily is, is reading or, or watching or learning as much as I possibly can. Now, I do have a soft spot for the Food Channel, so that, I, I, I watch some guys' grocery games and, and that stuff sometimes, but I, I'm sure everybody does. So, if you're like me in that aspect, you're probably following all kinds of gear pages on Instagram and on Facebook and you're in all kinds of groups and stuff, right? I know, because I am too. So I started seeing this trend, you know, maybe a couple months ago in all these, all these different Facebook groups and being shared on all these gear pages on Instagram. And all these people were, uh, were customizing their guitar cabinets and their head shells and, and they were using fabrics you know, these cool printed fabrics to uh, replace their grill cloth and, and wrap their, their head shell, you know, where, where the, the grill cloth would be on the head shell. It looks like, hold on, let me go grab it. It's like this stuff. It's, it's actual fabric. Um, I mean, it's kind of thick and it's, it's very, it's not at all open like the stuff they use for grill cloths. And so I was curious to try it because I know it looks cool, but I was curious how it would sound because I, I was never conscious about grill cloth uh, making a difference in your tone until I got the Sir Badger with the matching 1x12 cabinet. And the grill cloth is Velcroed on. You can take it off and just put the, the mic on the speaker. And it was at that moment that I was like, you know, I, I never, I never thought you put all this time and, and thought into your guitar tone and every single part of your signal, you spend so much time finessing and, and perfecting. And I've been playing guitar for 13 years now, 12 or 13 years. And I never once have thought about the way a grill cloth would affect my tone. So I did my research, I found out, I actually went and I bought the exact, from the same manufacturer, the, the, the same kind of fabric that all these you know people were using on their amps. And uh, we put it on these cabinets right after COVID hit. And I just, I haven't gotten around to making this video. Just, you know, everything's been crazy hectic and the results might shock you. I was expecting to put the, the fabric on and it just completely destroy my tone. And I'm, I'm kind of shocked by, by the results. I mean, you know, opinions may vary, but uh, I don't dislike it. I'll tell you that much. It is, uh, the best way I could describe it is it's more of a mid-focused and the, the, the fabric kind of rolls off some highs and some lows and it's very mid and punchy. And I'm using these 2x12s, I'll show you. And uh, they have the same speakers in them. They're all Celestian G12T 75 uh, watt speakers, um, which are, you know, very neutral. It's my favorite all around guitar speaker. Um, and the, the, the difference in grill cloth almost makes the speaker sound like a V30 with that, you know, real edgy mid, mid range punch. Um, and I'm only using one SM57 on each speaker and they're in the same exact position on each cabinet. Everything I'll be playing will be through the Sur PT100. Let's, uh, let's hear some cabinets. What do you say? Hey, this is Louie from the future. It's actually the next day. Uh, I got caught up with some stuff, so I had to scrap. I actually didn't like what I recorded, so I'm, I, I redid some of it, and I'm finishing it today. So say hello to this. Also, this is my newest acquisition. Full demo review coming on this 
uh, new Tom Anderson. This thing is, is absolutely incredible. Uh, so we're going to start with the clean tone and work up from there. So while I was editing this video, I got an idea because the entire time I was focused on how different the grill cloth makes the cabinet or the speaker sound. What I wasn't thinking of was obviously in a live environment, you would never ever notice the difference, okay? But what if you used it in a studio setting? Let's say you only have one cabinet and you want your cabinet to be hip, cool. You want your logo on your cabinet, something like that. For whatever reason, or just because you fucking want to. So I wanted to see if it would make that much of a difference sat in a mix. And so I came up with a very short, very simple piece of music, a very simple riff. And uh, I wanted to show you the, the, the difference, or lack thereof, that it sounds like in a mix. So, anyways, back to the video. This was such an interesting video for me to make. Um, I think it's pretty cool, the, the, the sound difference that just that little fabric makes. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think sound sounded better? Did one sound worse? Do they sound the same to you? Uh, so on and so forth. Also, if you were going to do this to your own cabinet, um, does the, the, does the tone difference make a difference to you? Let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts. I, uh, 
I quite frankly, I almost like the cabinet with the fabric on it better than I do the grill cloth. I, I like the tone. I especially like the tone of them run together. It's like you're using two different speakers. I mean, that's how much of a difference it is here to me. I don't know. It depends what you're listening to this on, you know. Um, but on my on my monitors, it's a, a huge difference. It, like I said earlier, it's like using a, a V30 with, you know, this other speaker. All right, that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that fun YouTube stuff. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you in the next video.